supermarket. What a great day! Hi Bruno! We're collecting stories from different people in Busy Town. To go into the brand new story mobile. Sounds like a great idea, but I have lots of work to keep me busy here in the market. I have to collect the bananas. I have to bag the groceries. And I have to restock the shelves. So if you want me to write stories, you need to help me around here. Okay. We'll do it. Bruno needs help restocking these shelves. Let's do it, but how? Click on the spot where each new grocery item belongs. Peaches Fruits Nice job! Lobster Meat and fish Way to go! Ice cream Dairy that's great! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Radishes. Vegetables. Fish. Meat and fish. Terrific! Bun. Baked goods. Hooray for you! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Steak. Meat and fish. That's great! Lettuce. Vegetables. Way to go! Lemons. Fruits. You got it! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Pie. Baked goods. Her Apples. Fruit. Terrific! Tomatoes. Try again. Vegetables. Nice job! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Eggs. Dairy. You got it! Olives. Vegetables. That's right! Hamburger. Meat and fish. Hooray for you! Let's shelve another cart of groceries. Cookies. Baked goods. Good work! Yogurt. Dairy. Nice job! Watermelon. Fruits. Way to go! We did it, Loli! What a great team! We restocked the whole store! Now we can see if Bruno is ready with a story. Or we can stock more shelves. 
Are you sure you... Great work, Huckle and Lowly. I'm all done with my first story. It's waiting for you in the Storymobile. Thanks for all your help. Oh, boy. Thank you, Bruno. From the grocery shelf to the bookshelf. Our job is to collect 10 bananas. Find and click the item in the produce shelf that begins with the same sound as the item on the shopping cart. Then click the shopping cart. Lowly begins with L. Like lettuce, Lowly. T. Way to go! Tomatoes begins with T. We got a banana. Now we need nine more. Ladder. L. That's great! Lemon. We butterfly. B. Excellent! Beans. We got a banana. Seven more now. Soup. S. Terrific! Strawberries. B. We got a camera. C. Hooray for you! Carrots. B. Milk. M. That's great! Melon begins with M. We got a banana. Puzzle. P. Way to go! Potatoes. Begins with P. We got a banana. Three left. Lamb. L. You got it. Lemons. We got a banana. Well. W. Hooray for you. Watermelon. Anchor. A. Terrific. Apples. Begins with A. Well, we did it, Huckle. We got all the bananas. Oh, no. Looks like we're not finished yet. Or we can see if Bruno was finished writing a story. Matt, are you sure you Perfect timing, Huckle and Lowly. I just put another story in the Storymobile. Thanks for all your help. Thank you, Bruno. I can't wait to read this one. Bruno wants us to help him fill up the bags with groceries. If these two things begin with the same sound, Click yes. If they don't, click no. Pie. Pickles. Right. They do start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Yogurt. Beans. Right. They do not start with the same sound. Do these have the same sound? Corn. Tomatoes. Only five more bags to fill. Do these have the same sound? Bananas. Beans. Do these have the same sound? Oranges. 
onions. Right. Do these have the same? Butter. Bananas. Only four more bags to fill. Do these have the same set? Pie. Popcorn. Do these have the same sound? Lemons. Lamb chop. Right? Do these have the same sound? Ham. Hot dog. Only three more bags to fill. Do these have the same sound? Cake. Peas. Do these have the same? Cake. Cookies. Right? To Pickles. Tomatoes. Right? Only two. Do these have the same sound? Oranges. Cucumbers. Do these have the same Le Do these Ham. Hot dog. Right. Only one more bag to fill. Do these have the same sound? Cake. Bread. Do these have the same Strawberries. Grapes. Do these have the same sound? Rice. Radishes. Rice. Right! They do start with the same sound. We filled up the whole shopping cart. We're good grocery packers, Loli. We sure are. Now we can go see if Bruno has written a story. Or we can bag more groceries. To the... Are you sure you are? Huckle and Loli. I'm all done with my third story. I put it with the others in the Storymobile. Thanks so much for your help. Oh boy! Thank you, Bruno. That wasn't so hard. The best mistake ever. Mother Cat needs some things at the store. I can go to the store for you, says Huckle. All right, Huckle, says Mother Cat. Let me make you a shopping list. Mother Cat gives Huckle the list. These are the things I want you to buy, she says. Apples, butter, cream, potatoes. Don't worry, Mom, says Huckle. I'll get everything you need. When Huckle gets to the store, he reaches into his pocket for the list. Oh no! It is gone! I hope I can remember everything Mom needs, says Huckle. Huckle starts to shop. First he sees some apples. Did Mom want apples or apple pie? Huckle asks himself. Huckle picks apple pie. Next, Huckle finds the butter. Yes, he says, I think Mom wanted butter. But I think she wanted peanut butter. Huckle reaches for peanut butter. Huckle sees a sack of potatoes in the next aisle. 
Did Mom have potatoes on her list? He wonders. Then Huckle sees a bag of potato chips. I think these would be better, he says. What does Huckle see next? He sees cream. What does Huckle buy? Ice cream. Huckle pays for all of the food. Then he goes home and proudly shows Mother Cat all the things he bought. But Huckle, says Mother Cat, these are not the things I wanted. This is party food. Ah. Just then, the doorbell rings. It's Auntie Olympia and Lily. Mother Cat is surprised. She forgot that she had invited them over. Mother Cat looks at all the party food on the table. Huckle, she says, it looks like you got just what we needed after all. Your mistake was the best mistake ever. Bananas for Bananas Bananas wakes up early in the morning. Boy, I'm hungry, he says. He looks for some bananas to eat. There are no bananas. What, he says? No bananas? Bananas looks for some money to buy bananas, but he can't find any. What, he says? No money? How will I get bananas? Bananas thinks hard. I know, he says at last. I'll get a job. <sighs> Bananas goes to Scotty's gas station. He asks Scotty for a job. OK, Bananas, says Scotty. You can paint this school bus. Bananas paints the school bus. Then he shows it to Scotty. Do you like it? asks Bananas. Oh, no, cries Scotty. That's not the way to paint a school bus. Scotty tells Bananas to find another job. <coughs> bananas still has no money, and he still doesn't have any bananas. So Bananas asks Mr. Stitches for a job. OK, Bananas, says Mr. Stitches. You can trim these hedges for me. Bananas trims the hedges for Mr. Stitches. Do you like them, he asks. Oh, no, cries Mr. Stitches. Mr. Stitches tells Bananas to find another job. Bananas still doesn't have any money. He still doesn't have any bananas, and he is still hungry. Just then, Huckle and Lowly come by. Hi, bananas, they say. What's wrong? I just lost two jobs, says bananas. I'll never get money to buy bananas. You're in luck, say Huckle and Lowly. There's a ship in Busy Bay, and it's full of bananas. Wow, says Bananas. I'm on my way. Bananas hurries over to Busy Bay. He asks Captain Anteater for a job. OK, Bananas, says Captain Anteater. You can help in the kitchen. Bananas helps out in the kitchen. This time, he does a great job. He still has no money, but now he doesn't need any. He has all the bananas he wants. The Talking Bread Humperdink opens up the busy town bakery. Let's bake some bread, he says to Abel Baker Charlie. Can I help too, Daddy? asks Sophie. Sure, answers Humperdink. First, Humperdink and Sophie knead the dough. Squish, squash, squish, squash. Next, they shake the dough into loaves. Humperdink 
puts the loaves into the oven to bake. When they are done, he sets them out to cool. Mmm, says Sophie. They smell good. Just then, they hear a voice. Mama! Who said that? asked Humperdink. I think the bread said it, cried Sophie. <laughs> Mama! Everyone looks. It said it again, yells Charlie. That bread must be haunted. Humperdink calls Sergeant Murphy, who comes right away. Huckle and Lowly come too. Sergeant Murphy picks up the loaf of bread. Mama! The bread says. Sergeant Murphy jumps. I'll get to the bottom of this, says Lowly. He nibbles his way into the bread. Again, the bread says, Mama! I know what it is, says Lowly. Break the bread open, please. <coughs> Humperdink breaks open the bread. Inside is Sophie's talking doll. It fell into the dough and was baked inside the bread. After that, everyone sits down to eat the bread. Except for Lowly, of course. He had already eaten plenty. <laughs>